Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today, we're looking at the top 10 most deadly volcanic eruptions ever. Nothing quite ensures a date in history like a volcanic eruption. In the olden days, people would think they were punishments from the gods, but these days we know it's a simple matter of tectonic plates shuffling and releasing the red-hot magma from the Earth's core. In this video, we're looking at some of the most deadly volcanic eruptions that shook the world in years gone by. Top 10 Deadly Volcano Eruptions Number 10. Mount Lamington Mount Lamington is a 1,680-meter-high volcano located in Papua New Guinea. Unfortunately, until 1951, residents of the surrounding Oro province thought it was just a wooded mountaintop. Late that night, on January the 18th, smoke and lava began to ooze from the peak. Then, three days later, there was a huge explosion from the north side, causing fatal pumice dust, sulfurous fumes, and magma showers. Over the next few months, further eruptions and tremors, as well as continued flow of pumice and rocks within a 10-mile radius, continued, causing around 3,000 deaths in total. Number 9. Papandayan Situated on the Indonesian island of Java, Papandayan is a crater-filled, semi-active volcano. In 1772, one side of the volcano exploded and avalanched into the surrounding 40 villages, destroying them completely. Over 3,000 villagers were killed. The volcano is still considered very dangerous, and much of the surrounding area is restricted, especially considering that there has been smoke, tremors, and minor eruptions in 1923-1942, plus several, all increasing in strength, in 2002. Number 8. Kellut Kellut is also located in Java, on the east side, and has grumbled as recently as 2008, although the 1919 mudflow, or Laha, was the most devastating to date. The red-hot lakes of magma, which began on that fateful day on May the 19th, flowed fast into nearby settlements and killed over 5,000 people. Since then, the Ampira Tunnel, the drainage system to take overflow from the crater lake, has been built. The nearest miss since then was October 2007, when 30,000 local residents had to be evacuated after the volcano was set on red alert. Kellut finally blew two weeks later, dusting villages up to eight miles away with ash. Number 7. Unzen Mount Unzen actually consists of several overlapping stratovolcanoes in the Kyushu region of Japan. The 1,500-meter volcano, which is still active, had its most noteworthy destruction in 1792. When several lava domes collapsed, a tsunami was triggered, killing over 15,000 people. One very recent eruption in 1991 killed over 40 people, including three volcanologists, and caused huge destructions to the buildings nearby. Number 6. Ruiz Nevado del Ruz, located in Colombia, is also known for its deadly lajas, a type of mud flow or landslide composed of pyroclastic material and water that flows down from a volcano. In 1595, 635 people were killed after the boiling mud poured into the rivers Guiali and Lagunillas, and in 1845, a further 1,000 people were killed in a repeat incident. Despite this, the village of Armero was built on top of the dried magma, so it was no surprise that when the third lahar occurred in 1985, a staggering 23,000 people died, which was almost the entire population of the village. The town was completely buried under the 40-mile-an-hour deadly flow, which cost Colombia an estimated billion dollars. Number 5. Mount Pele This volcano in Martinique is now a popular French tourist destination for those wanting to marvel at the views surrounding something that was once so deadly. In 1902, the eruption, which was the largest of the 20th century, killed over 30,000 people after gradually increased activity. Although small warnings of smoke, tremors, sulfur, and ash began in April of that year, the volcano didn't fully blow until the 8th of May. Lava fountains, lighting, and toxic clouds traveling at speeds of 600 miles per hour spewed from the volcano, and temperatures of 1,075 degrees boiled into the city of Saint-Pierre below, which continued burning for days. There were only two survivors. Number 4. Krakatoa Krakatoa, also known as Krakatoa, is another still dangerous volcanic island, also located in Indonesia in the Sundra Strait. In August 1883, there were a series of extremely violent, gigantic explosions with a force 13,000 times larger than the Hiroshima bombing. The catastrophic explosion, which could be heard as far as Perth in Australia, spewed over 21 cubic kilometers of rock, ash, and pumice up to 70 miles high. Officially, over 37,000 people were killed, mainly due to resulting tsunamis, although the actual death toll is thought to be much larger. Number 3. Tambora Tambora is another addition to Indonesia's 130 active volcanoes. Standing at a gigantic 4,300 meters, the series of explosions from April to June in 1815 rocked the whole world with aftereffects. 
This completely changed the stratosphere and ultimately caused one of the worst famines in the U.S. and Europe in the 19th century. Red-hot pumice stones rained down after the grumbling volcano finally blew and nearby settlements were completely engulfed in lava. All vegetation on the island was destroyed by the noxious ash and poisoned rain clouds that resulted. In total, over 71,000 people died as a result of burning, starvation, or poison. Number 2. Mount Vesuvius This volcano gets to number 2 for its infamy rather than its actual death toll, which was still impressively high at up to 25,000. When Vesuvius had its almighty eruption in 79 AD, it completely buried the town of Pompeii below, as well as devastating other nearby villages. The eruption column, which was a 20-mile-tall spout of magma and rock, surged intermittently over 20 hours. Since then, the volcano has erupted over a dozen times, most recently in 1944, when several nearby villages were destroyed. Number 1. Lackey Lackey is a legendary Icelandic volcano which has lain dormant since its huge eruption in 1783. The 1,725-meter canyon-covered volcano caused nationwide damage when it spectacularly exploded, killing over 50% of the livestock population in Iceland at the time due to the clouds of poisonous fluorine and sulfur dioxide. The resulting famine killed 25% of the population. There was around 3.4 cubic kilometers of basalt lava emitted, with lava fountains up to 1,400 meters. The after-effects were felt all over the world, with Great Britain dubbing that summer Sand Summer due to carried over ash. The poisonous clouds spread over Europe, and the aerosols built up, causing a cooling effect on the whole of the Northern Hemisphere, killing over 8,000 people in nearby Britain in the winter. In North America, the winter of 1784 was the longest and one of the coldest on records. There was a record amount of snow in New Jersey, the Mississippi froze at New Orleans, and there was ice in the Gulf of Mexico. If you enjoyed this video about deadly volcanic eruptions, you'll probably enjoy some of our other deadliest videos. One is the top 10 deadliest hobbies, and then there's also the top 10 deadliest stampedes. So, hope you'll enjoy those, and thanks for watching.